Okay, hi. This is for old one in uh, all good endings. It's a bit RNG based run, and it's really annoying to get some parts done well, but I'm gonna try to do it as best as possible. And the start, uh, run will start ah, in three, you're two, here. one, good. go. Okay, so we got a very bad RNG, and I thought it was good. So, the rat is supposed to, uh, like, not attack you if it turns around, but sometimes the RNG just pops in and it will just bite you and it will lose you time. At the end of the cave I set up uh, two saves, one is just quick save and second is uh, save for save warp. We will use it later in the game if the game decides that it works. Here I'm just going to cathedral, which I'm not supposed to really be in. So far I'm not getting any encounters, which is pretty good. Uh, the traveling on map depends on your uh, like on the terrain so if it's mountain then it's slow and if it's desert then it's pretty fast I stole a key here and I can open the door there was some nice RNG so far No, because we don't have any weapon and we'll need to kill some guys, then we take a power fist and that can kill any enemy in the game. And now I'll talk, talk to this guy. Don't remember inviting any what, could go on? what did I just do? I don't want to... And this glitch is called combat glitch, I basically just dodged the final boss of the game because I held the button that enters combat. And here I just made the mutant not care about me by quick saving and quick loading. I will take these grenades because we need to kill some raiders and this will make it faster. These doors are pretty hard to pick lock so that's not really my favorite part of the run. Please don't. Wow. And I'm out. now I'm gonna do the hardest glitch in the game, which will probably fail. I hope not. We're not skilled enough to do this. Well, so we just got killed, which doesn't happen. But sometimes, just the game hates you. Please not again. Okay, and now the save glitch didn't work. Well, now we finally succeeded. So what I did there, there basically was enabling a bomb, which is pretty convenient that they have bombs in their bases and you can just activate them. Not sure why. 
and I made it so that the mutant doesn't attack me by entering combat at, at a good spot and this guy will conveniently take us out of dimension because why not and now the cutscene played that uh, the cathedral basically exploded and we need to do some more quests because we want all good endings we could normally go to military base and bomb it as well but this is all good endings so now i made another quick save and quit and uh, i made another uh, save warp setup and you'll soon see how it works so now i level up some unarmed because we have the power fist and throwing because we have the grenades Can I help you? Oh, I didn't take it. Great. So this guy is an assassin and he basically wants to kill Killian. And Listen, thanks killing for him basically uh, save this city. Well, not really save, but made the good, si good ending for the city. Now I uh, entered the previous save and now I will load our quick save and it warped us all the way back. But we have our progress saved. Now we have to kill raiders. That's terrorize cities. Okay, that's bad spawn, but whatever. So now I will probably die here, but because RNG is not nice. So I basically want them to group in a way that I can use our grenade. And they are not doing it. Why is she running? So we need to kill 8 raiders and uh, the, their leader. We killed their leader that's, leader, that's the guy in silver armor. And we need to kill 8 raiders, which I didn't count and now I don't know how many. Now I will use combat glitch to basically get to her because she started running for no reason. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, it was okay, but she started running, so it's a bit slower. And now we need to solve water problem in Necropolis, and that automatically saves water problem in Vault Thirteen. If you're wondering why I sometimes walk so fast, then it's because there is a um, speed click glitch, which means if you click at certain speed, then you will just walk faster. Currently I have it, have it binded to mouse wheel, so in northwest direction, it's just too fast. Because it hurts your hand if you really want to do it with fingers properly. I mean with 
mouse buttons. And this is a perfect design of letters because you have to click exactly on the letter nowhere else. Like you have to literally click on on the metal part of it. Now I could took some tools that I can use to repair their water system. And now this guy wouldn't normally let me in but I pressed zero and it's all okay. Uh, now I used the tools on myself by accident, which wasn't my intention. And now I need to take the water chip, which saves Vault 13, or basically solve the water problem that is currently going on. And now I basically talked to the mutant, which led me to his base, right to his leader, where we again have a nice terminal that lets us bomb this place, why not? Basically this bomb and the one in Cathedral is the, are the only ones that trigger a okay ending. Like not the best one, but the any person ending. This guy also, also doesn't care if I press zero. Ah oh, damn. So I'm not sure what happened, but... Cool. So he wasn't supposed to attack me, but he did. I think I just pressed, uh, like, exited combat at the wrong spot. In any person round, these fields can actually kill you, so you have to care and eventually use a stim pack, but in this case it wasn't necessary. And now maybe time is coming up if the glitch triggers. So now I'm gonna save warp and... Nope. So I need to run here manually. Sometimes this just doesn't work because the save warps are inconsistent and time. So now we just need to wait for the endings to show up because we need to prove that they are good. The master gone, his armies flee to the east in fear of retribution from the remaining normals. The ghouls of Necropolis learn how to maintain the repaired water pump and eventually rediscover many lost secrets of engineering. They form a business, selling this technology to other towns. 
In Shady Sands, Tandy helps her father Aradesh bring a new community and new life out of the broken remains of the world. They are responsible for the new California Republic, whose ideals spread across the land. Killian Darkwater takes firm control of Junktown, drives out the last of Gizmo's kind, and then enforces his own brand of frontier justice. Life is fair and safe under his law. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California, with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure, and becomes a major research and development house. Thanks to your persistence, the Raiders are destroyed as an effective fighting force and disband. None of the Raider survivors are ever heard from again. Your involvement with the various places and people of the Wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened to you? You've done it. And now we have final dialogue with Overseer. And that's the end of the game. Thanks for watching 